Hi and welcome to our Shopware release news to our major release, Shopware 6.5. It's time to part ways with Shopware 6.4 and say hello to a new era of improvements and innovations. What technical changes can you expect? Which new features can you look forward to? What do merchants and developers need to know? You'll find out all of this in this video. Shopware 6.5 comes with many technical improvements. Let's start with the performance boost. With the latest Shopware version, you can benefit from massive performance improvements on the platform. We've got a five times faster order performance, a 4.5 times better median response time across all pages, and a three times higher request throughput uncached. But how is this possible? We have outsourced tasks from the database to Redis, reduced the load, removed database locks, and improved caching strategy. But that's not all. The administration is now 200% faster. This is possible because we have reduced file sizes by up to 600%. We have also implemented lazy loading, which loads content such as images and videos only when they are actually needed. So in summary, you can look forward to a smoother, faster and more enjoyable experience using Shopware. Now we come to the other improvements. We have cleaned up the software code, got rid of unnecessary ballast, made meaningful additions and updates and much more. So here are some impressions of the improvements in the core and admin. Integration of OpenSearch. Elasticsearch is still supported. Symphony update brings additional features and new message queue. New updater for better compatibility between plugin systems uh, based apps. Um, dependencies cleanup and optimized design. Now the improvements in the storefront. Update to Bootstrap 5. We have removed the jQuery and we now got an optimized design. You can read more details about the technical innovations in the developer news. Now let's come to the new features of the Shopware version 6.5. First, I want to show you a new delivery notice for EU geoblocking regulations. In today's world, quick and easy deliveries are more important to your customers than ever before. It's crucial to communicate any potential delivery restriction well in advance. So that's why we have adjusted the notices that appear for customers when delivery to a particular country is not possible. Open your settings and then the section countries. I have, for example, just opened the country Austria and can now show you what I mean with the new delivery notice for EU geoblocking regulations. So we've got the field or the section shipping here. By default, it is activated. I can now deactivate the shipping uh, section. Click on save. And now I will show you how it looks like in the storefront. So for example, I am a new customer and want to register in this shop. I type in all my yeah, names, email address, and uh, data. And then I come to the shipping address or my shipping country. So I can now select my country. Obviously, I can still select Austria, but now I've got the delivery notice that a delivery is not possible at the moment. So in this case, the customer can still use Austria as the country but he will get the notice um, that the delivery is not possible at the moment in the registration form. Next, we have implemented a new feature regarding to the different address formats. 
So with this feature, you decide how addresses are displayed. In general, countries and regions differ in terms of typical address formats, especially when it comes to postal codes. So as a merchant, you know the requirements of your target markets best, which is why we give you the freedom to customize and validate address formats according to your needs. You will find the settings to this feature in your country settings. In my example, I have already opened an example country. Uh, it's Austria. And then you see a new tab, address handling. If you open the tab, you see yeah, new options and the address markup. So up here in the options section, you can state, uh, yeah, you can set if the state or region is required, the postal code is required. Uh, you can set the postal code validation. And if this is active, you can even set the advanced validation rules. Down here, we have the address markup. Um, with this way, you can define your desired address layout for different countries and regions. Uh, this layout will appear to you and your customers in all places where addresses are displayed and, yeah, queried. So in the storefront, in the administration, and in documents with address information. Um, you can customize the address formats uh, using drag and drop. The next feature brings more clarity when you create rules. So to help simplify rule creation, we have introduced explanatory fields that provide clarity on why certain conditions or rules may not be assignable. So this makes rule creation even easier and especially more understandable. Now I want to show you what I mean with this. Go into a promotion, for example, then open the conditions tab and try to add a customer rule. Open the drop down menu. And now you see that some of the rules are already grayed out. So if you now hover over this grayed out rule, you see our new explanatory field. And in this field, you get an explanation why this rule is not assignable. The next feature improves the usability for order management. Creating, maintaining and managing orders. So all of this is possible in the corresponding module in the administration. To make daily work around orders even easier, more appealing and more organized for you, we have revised the module. And this is new. Whether it's customers, products or options, all information is now clearly divided into different topics. For example, we've got the general tab with the info and the items. We've got the details tab with payment and shipping and order information. And we've got the new documents tab where we can obviously find all our documents. So this way you can find what you're looking for more quickly. The next new thing is when you create orders manually, you can now preview them before you save and place them. So in this step, you can review all data at a glance. For that, just add a new order from the order overview in the administration. Um, and you can now see a new preview mask uh, where you can select your customer, add a new or add uh, the product for the order and then select change or edit the data. And then you click on preview order. So you then directly get to the order mask where you can again uh, check all the data. And if you are fine with this, you can then save the order. Um, for all commercial plans, so shopware rise and higher, there is now a new tab that facilitates return management. Um, but if you want more information on this, it will be available in the commercial feature and service news.
The next feature is an interface for tax services. In Shopware, you can effortlessly manage and tweak tax rates by country, product, and customer group, giving you an edge in the global market. But navigating the complex tax systems and rules in countries like the USA can be very overwhelming. That's where external tax services come in. These services are designed to simplify the tax process for you, to make it even easier to connect and calculate taxes using these tools, we have introduced a new interface for tax providers. At the checkout then, Shopware automatically connects with the active external tax service so you can see the final shopping cart value based on valid tax calculations. If there were already tax services available here, you would find the area as usual under settings taxes. So the list of tax providers would then be here. Um, this is also the place where you can set priorities or define rules for availability. The next new feature refers to the rule builder and the flow builder. To be successful in long term, customers should be at the center of your business strategy. To enable you to use efficient automations tailored to your customers, we have added new conditions to the Shopware rule and flow builder. The new conditions can include customer age, the last login date, the last order date and product ordered, use of an affiliate or campaign code, a rule whether the customer was manually added to the system, a condition uh, referring to the city or region of the customer's billing address and a condition referring to the active or inactive status of the customer. Now I will come to the commercial shopware and service news. So this is about features that are not included in the community edition. If you want, take a look at our overview under shopware.com to compare the different shopware plans. I'll start with the new feature for the flow builder, which is only available for shopware beyond plans. It's now possible to release flows from the flow builder with delayed actions for perfect timing with little effort. For example, Set up a flow that automatically starts seven days after an order is shipped and sends an email requesting a product review. There are many scenarios where you can plan and automate processes in advance with delayed actions. The next and last new feature refers to the returns management for Shopware Rise, Evolve and Beyond plans. So the returns management is now available for all commercial plans. So if customers want to return a product, you can manage the return directly in the administration. Enter it directly in the order, specify the quantity and optionally add a comment, such as the reason for the return. So for all orders for which you have created a return, you will now also find an additional tab here you can see all the important information about the return, for example, the return status, the shipping costs, and much more. This way, you always have an overview. Last but not least, the developer news. Here I just want to give a compact summary of the most important changes for developers. Some of the most important changes include breaking changes in the structure of the manifest XSD file used by app system based apps and in the admin order module. With the removal of support for Internet Explorer 11 and the update of Bootstrap to version 5.5, there were Numerous important changes like the removal of the jQuery as a dependency. The admin performance and 
appearance have been approved and now allow for the usage of content from custom entities in the CMS. Also adding rules through apps become more comfortable. There are a lot of additional changes like changes to the queue system and the management of dependencies from plugin system based apps through Shopware's Composer file. That was the release news for the 6.5. We wish you a lot of fun and success with all the new features of this version. And Obviously, thanks to all GitHub contributors for their pull requests, which we were able to merge into this version.